Hey guys. Okay, so um, I did record the um season finale of Jersey Shore um commentary, but my computer decided that it was not going to upload the video, so that is why that video is not up yet. So I'm sorry about that. But Today, we're going to talk about this week's episode of the Basketball Ex-Wives. Because notice that nobody on the show is married to or dating a basketball player. Hence the sign. So where to start? There's so many different things. Um, I just want to say right now, I do not condone the actions that they, um, like, I don't support their actions, like, these are grown women, but they seem to not know how to conduct themselves in public, like, and, again, this is actually one of the big issues in this episode, Keisha, um, at her event for her brain, the brain tumor charity, she comes over to the other woman, and she says, Oh, you know, da 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 da, and you know, just make sure that you know don't have too much to drink, and you know, act this way, act that way. Oh, and when Susie comes, keep her under control, please. And they took offense to that. Now Keisha observing them, she's seeing like, oh my gosh, they're at a restaurant and they are going like back and forth, like honestly, uh, and then. Again, how um, last episode she saw how Susie was acting at Royce's event. So, I think she was just looking out for herself. Like, she don't want to make a fool of herself by having these women there acting, like, out of control. Honestly, although I feel the same way, I would have not, I would not have um, dealt with it that way. Because the way she said it was kind of rude. Now, the whole thing with the Debbie Downers, like, Shawnee made that a big deal. I'm actually surprised at Shawnee because she doesn't seem like the one who's usually starting the drama. She's usually the one who will, like, sit back and, like, ha-ha, laugh at the drama that's happening. But she is never, never, never the one to, um, to, to start the drama. And she started this whole problem because she's like, oh, why do we have to be the Debbie Downers corner? Like, it wasn't even that big of an issue. She was just saying, oh, well, let me go somewhere else because, you know, it's kind of boring over here. Now, although the comment was unnecessary, I don't think it was meant in a threatening way. But, of course, like, everything that, like, is said is, like, an automatic jab at these guys. And it's, like, not even that serious. Okay. Jen's, um, Jennifer's lip gloss launch. Now, I mean, not much can be said about that. Obviously, not a lot of people came. Nobody came other than Susie and Kenya. Um, I mean, there's there's not much to be said about that. I mean, she can't expect Royce to come. Because Royce does not like her, and she does not like Royce. You can't expect Evelyn to come. Because Evelyn does not like you, and you do not like Evelyn. So, I mean, and then... Tammy wasn't there because she claimed she wasn't invited. So look, like Jen said, whoever was there was supposed to be there. She didn't have, I don't necessarily think she had a problem with the fact that people weren't there. Because like she said, the people who are here are the people who are important. She didn't want anyone else there. So that's why nobody else was there. Um, I think that was Susie's way of kind of like, um, am I really stuck here with this girl? Like, I don't want to be stuck here with her. Okay, let's talk about Tammy's so-called jabs at Keisha. Um, now, she did ask her one time, are you white? Well, you don't look white. I mean, I don't think Tammy meant it in an offensive way. But like Evelyn was saying when she was talking to Tammy, she's probably had that issue her entire life. You're not white enough. You're not black enough. What are you? Who do you identify with? Big mess. 
And Tammy might not have realized it. Okay, fine. Do I think it was wrong for Keisha to talk to Evelyn about it? Not at all. Do I think the way Evelyn presented what um, Keisha said was wrong? No, not at all. But the way Tammy took it, are you serious? It wasn't even that serious. Okay, like, the girl was just scared to talk to you, to Tammy. She's intimidated by her, okay? And I don't think that is such a bad thing. But the way Tammy's like, oh, well, since she didn't come to me first, I don't want to hear what she has to say. Like, it's not that serious. Grow up. Act your age. You're acting worse than, like, middle schoolers. Like, high schoolers don't even act like that, Tammy. And it's so sad. Then, oh, my gosh, I totally agree with Susie about Kenya's statement. Because while she's trying, like, Kenya is like Susie in the beginning or the end of, like, this last season. Seriously? Oh, I'm going to be your friend, and I'm going to be your friend, too. After she just has this huge, 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 huge argument with Keisha, she's not talking to her. So she wants to come to this dinner with Evelyn and Tammy, and they're, like, throwing these, like, cut throw, like, they're cutting on her like that. And she, ha, 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 ha. Like, laughs, 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 laughs the entire time. Then, oh, if you want to be with these girls, you got to, like, no, no, don't talk to me. You going to sit here and talk to me after you left them up? Get out of my face, man. Like, that's not even cool. That is the biggest thing. And I just love Keisha's reaction because she's sitting there like, yeah, whatever, uh uh-huh, because I don't like you. I totally agree. Like, are you serious? Oh. And I totally agree with Tammy. She was tacky at her meeting. Because you're going to steal the tape recording from your bedroom to go to a meeting for your business? That's tacky. You had, she had nothing. Pro- like, yeah, it is insulting. It is. It is. And I think, oh, man. I just think it's like a mess. Like, these people are a mess. But uh, next week, we'll be back with more of this. So, um, watch it, love it, like it, subscribe, and leave comments below of what you thought of this episode and of any other shows that you'd like me to watch. See you next time.